can't deny it, this wallet feels amazing. But does it work well in day-to-day -day life? This is the Axwell wallet. The style is probably well known, as this two metal plates that hold your card via an elastic is known from other brands as well. But the Axwell does have a few features that differentiate it from its competitors. Let's start with the positives. What I noticed right away besides the good build quality is the feel in your hands and your pockets. The two aluminium plates with its beveled edges have an incredible feel in the hand. I kinda want to fidget with it all of the time. If you are used to a bifold wallet then this will be a very new experience for you because it is so small and compact. I have been using this extra minimal wallet that is already fairly compact. But the axe wheel is even smaller and obviously the aluminium feels just more substantial in your hands without being heavy in any way compared to my leather extra wallet. And due to its rounded corners and beveled edges, it doesn't feel uncomfortable in my front pocket. Obviously you will notice it in your back pocket, but then again you can be rest assured that your cards won't bend and break when you sit down on it. Which actually happened to me years ago when I was still using a bifold wallet. Furthermore, the aluminium will protect you from RFID theft. Speaking of aluminium, the unique feature of the Axwell are these removable and exchangeable plates. That way you can basically mix and match different plates and create a new design to your liking. Furthermore, this gives you access to the elastic if you might need to replace it in the future. And you can switch out the money band with the included money clip. Personally, I don't like the money clips because they tend to snag and poke inside my pants pockets. But let's talk about the negatives. I really like the idea of switching out the face plates for a more personalized look. And having a money band is a great idea to carry some cash or store receipts. However, whenever I want to lift the money band to store some cash, I do lift up the whole face plate as well, which is kind of annoying and cumbersome. These face plates are held in place with some decently strong magnets. I am an 80s kid and growing up we were always told don't place a floppy disk or a credit card close to a magnet because it will delete or damage the data. I do realize that this isn't that much of an issue nowadays, but I still feel uncomfortable storing my cards with a magnet strip that close to 12 magnets per side. Even if the magnets aren't that strong, I honestly have no clue if permanent exposure over multiple months to magnets affect credit cards. If you have any experience with that, please comment below. The negative that bothers me the most or at least takes a while to get used to is how you get to your cards. To access your cards, you push or pull your cards at this indentation and then get either your most used card at the top or you pull them out all to get to a card somewhere in the middle. With some practice, you can fan them out a little bit to shimmy out a card in the middle. However, it will always be a two-handed operation to get to your cards and it also might be somewhat of a balancing act if you need to get to one card in the middle without accidentally dropping all of your cards if you are in a hurry. And if you take out all of your cards, you will need to fiddle around a little bit to get all of your cards back between those two aluminium plates. Obviously, this is just a matter of getting used to. But if you are coming from a bifold wallet in which every card has its own slot and therefore is easier to access, or you have used an extra or secret wallet like I do with its mechanism to fan out all of your cards with a button press, then this method of two plates holding all of your cards all at once, it will need some time getting used to. Furthermore, keep in mind that your cards are held in place by pressure between two hard aluminum plates. If there is some dust or sand in your pocket and it gets potentially wedged between your cards and the aluminum, your magnetic stripe or the chip could get scratched up. And yeah, truth to be told, I honestly don't know if this could impact the readability of the stripe or the chip. Honestly, I doubt it, but for good measure, I always try to have the magnetic stripes facing inside and not towards the aluminum. So the big question is, will I continue using this wallet? 
Yeah, I'm, I'm torn. On one side, this wallet feels amazing in my hands and in my pockets. The smaller size, the rounded corners, the beveled edges make it almost unnoticeable in my pants pockets, but also make me want to fiddle around when I am in a call, for instance. On the other side, I don't like the way I need to get to my cards whenever I am at the checkout of a grocery store. It is noticeably more cumbersome and takes more time to getting to my cards. More importantly, getting the cards back inside needs much more effort. Is this a big deal? Definitely no. Can I get used to it? Yeah. Will I keep using it? Um, I'm not sure, I probably will use it occasionally. Maybe whenever I want to dress up and want my pockets as empty as possible. But for day-to-day -day use, I do prefer wallets that have this mechanism like on my extra or secret wallet. That being said, I would still recommend the X-World. It is very well made and it's funny to say it like this, but it feels amazing in your hands and to carry around. The removable plates give you a lot of opportunities to make this your own. You only need to keep in mind that you will need some time getting used to how you will access your cards. Actually, try storing your cards with a rubber band and maybe some cardboard, just to try out if you mind getting to your cards that way. If you don't mind getting to your cards that way, then definitely check out the Axwell wallet. And now I'd love to know from you, are you using these style of wallets? If yes, what are your experiences with it? But if you use that style of wallet and moved away from it to a different one, let me know which kind of wallet are you using now and why. And if you have any other questions, also comment below. And if you enjoyed this video, click the like button. And please feel free to subscribe to my channel and click that little bell icon so you won't miss the next videos. Also check out my Instagram and second channel at you know the boat. Stay safe and healthy everyone and I see you in the next videos. Thank you very much.